since the beginning, since this outbreak, we've been, uh, our offices have been open, uh, mostly phone calls and emails, but what we've been trying to uh, get the message out to the people, and I had one uh, last night as well now, because the, uh, the new rules, when you come back to this country, you need to be quarantined, which we wanted to do quite a bit earlier as, a, as a, an opposition party. Um, so we're letting them know through social media, anyone who phones our office, we're letting them know that uh, you need to um, self-distance. Uh, or physical distancing as well, this might be the better term to use, to make sure that people are, are staying away from one another, that, that proper distance as well, to make sure that they're uh, sanitizing as much as they can as possible, and uh, telling them hopefully if you can, stay home. If you need to go out and your operations are still there, if you follow those rules and listen to the uh, medical officer's report, um, we'll be fine. I think right now the government's uh, giving a few powers to the province, and, and as long as each province does it, it's, it's, it's really kind of the same result. So um, I, I think it's good to have some of the powers to the province because they're a little bit closer to each of the communities at this time. They work with municipalities and the townships. We're the uh, overseeing government, um, but we're working closely with them to make sure that uh, they're following the rules that, that are set in place so that we do our part for the next few weeks to alleviate uh, more spread of this virus. So if we follow the rules, we do what we're supposed to do, I think there'll be some sun coming out after a few weeks. I think all parties, at the end of the day, want to make sure we make it through this, uh, this pandemic. And I think everyone wants to make sure that we can take care of you know, our businesses, our individuals, uh, everyone out there. I think we all want the right thing. We were certainly disappointed the Liberals threw a few extra things into the bill that would give them power to 2022. And taxation rules that we think that Parliament is there for a reason. We live in a democracy and it was important. So uh, we're glad that the Liberals backed that down. We were surprised that they added it at that time. Um, but at the end of the day, they stayed the whole day. All the parties were there because they understand how important it is to get out there and help people in each of our communities. Am I riding here in Simcoe Gray? Uh, huge tourism uh, draw. We have the Nauta Wasaga Inn in Alliston and we have Blue Mountains. We have Wasaga Beach, which is the world's largest freshwater beach. And I've been in contact with, uh, like I say, Blue Mountain Resort. Uh, definitely, definitely a big hit for our area here and uh, you know we need to make sure that we have those supports because it is a huge huge part of our economy. I know that we have industries as well whether it's Honda you know you want to make sure those go but people seem to forget sometimes the importance of tourism and uh, I certainly understand and, and, and I know our party understands that that is a key driver in our area so we have to make sure that we're there for them. Uh, hopefully people follow the rules and the regulations that have been set down now uh, during this uh, pandemic and if we do that hopefully we'll lessen the time but we'll definitely there'll have to be supports for those businesses in order that they'll be able to continue um, after this is all done. We had a lot of concerns with our local farming area here and people have to be cognizant of the fact that uh, we need to get some of those uh, uh, agricultural products uh, to the market for the people who are going and, and buying all these products because people are actually making more food at home now during this uh, crisis than they are before. So that's one of the good things about this crisis. I think that people are taking an opportunity to, to you know, cook for, their, for themselves and uh, an opportunity for families to get together, which is important. But we need to make sure that we work with our agricultural community to make sure that it continues to strive. So I was really happy to hear that. And, uh, you know, everyone always first, you want to get hire locals if they need jobs, but uh, we need that. We need to have uh, those people working here. So I was really glad that the Liberal government uh, decided that that was an important factor and one that we believed in as well. Well, I think the first part of it is how long is this going to last? So like I said before, if, if everyone does their role, that'll shorten the period and that'll shorten the pain. I think I think the longer it goes, the harder it'll be. There'll be companies out there, and and, and those are the calls that I'm fielding in the office here, um, that that are going to have a tough time. So we have to make sure, and, and we're pushing the government. Um, it's great that we're taking care of all the individuals that work for those companies, and I, and I believe that. I think we we need to, and I'm glad that they have a new process that's going to be simpler for those people outside of, you know, unemployment insurance. They got a new emergency uh, uh, resource benefit which I think is an easier way a simpler way so those people are taken care of but I think I think they really need to uh, concentrate on each of those businesses so many of these small businesses like I've talked about earlier these the tourism business restaurant business uh, parts business all these businesses to make sure that they're still survive and they can stand up and and get those employees back because what we don't want to see is people going to stay on unemployment it's only four months is what they're putting on right now in that one program so we want to make sure that there's jobs to go back to so I think the government needs to concentrate a little bit more that's what we've been pushing as conservatives to say look we have to make sure that those businesses can survive because the day that this turns around hopefully a couple weeks 
you know, hopefully people are pent up. They're going to be so excited to get out. They're going to say, I want to go <laughs> somewhere. I want to go do some things. Um, ho hopefully that'll change. But we have to be really, really cognizant of that fact. And that's what we've been pushing, to make sure that those small businesses uh, have the resources to at least stay open till, till, till this crisis is over. And that's what we're going to work on. And so a lot of people are wondering, how am I going to pay my bills? Um, my mortgage is due. So a lot of people are phoning up and we have numbers for them to call and that's really what we're doing is for the government is trying to be here to, to field those numbers and I just hope people when they get it, there's a new number, first thing I'll tell people is sign up with CRA when you can, they're going to be the ones that are going to put this uh, program forward so get a number um, and the, the number for business I'm going to let you know on the TV is 1-800-959-5525 and for individuals it's 1-800-387-1193, sign up as soon as you can. They'll be busy. There's uh, all kinds of phone calls. Be patient. And uh, like I said, they'll need to take care of all these individuals. And that's most of the calls now. Seniors worried uh, as well. A lot of seniors are out there are scared, um, you know, because they have investments in, in, the, in the economy and uh, how that's going to play out for them. So it's, it's, uh, there's people are worried. People are frustrated. Um, and, and we're here to try and help them and, and put them in the direction that, that we're going to get them through this. And, and like I said, when it's all said and done, uh, I think society will probably be stronger and better. You know, I thought it would be wonderful to be a member of Parliament. I was all excited uh, when I won the October election, but I can tell you I'm still excited because I, I truly like to help people. That's uh, uh, why I'm in public office, but it's extremely busy. The phone calls, the emails, I'm trying to get back to the businesses that are calling me just, just to let them know that we're here, we're open, um, and, and we're fighting for them, the individuals that are out of their jobs. Um, so it's it's all day, it's all night, and I have two daughters as well, so I'm trying to, uh, you know, have conversations with them, but I'm finding it, it, this is an all-day thing now. Like, the less I can phone now probably for a week straight, uh, trying to get back in, we are, and I'll get back to you if, if, if you've emailed or phone called my staff as well. They've been fantastic. They've been running off their feet. I have fantastic staff, um, so we'll get back to you. But it is, it, it is kind of... Uh, it is a hectic time for all MPs. They'll all be get, feeling so many questions, so many concerns, and uh, um, you know, and there's so many level of governments trying to help out. So we have to work together. There's conference calls every day, either with the party or with, uh, you know, uh, Minister Minister of Health has one usually 4:30, which we're appreciative of. So, so keep us up to date what's going on. So it's it's a really really busy time, but uh, at the same time, if you can help people, it's it's it, it's rewarding. I. I I'm a big believer that uh, there's a reason why things happen. And, and I think this might give us an opportunity, uh, this pandemic, and, and you know, this isolation, it's tough for sure, because we're not used to that as a society. We just sort of come and go and we're free. Um, an opportunity to uh, get together with your family, to be with your family a little bit more, spend that time, I think, which is important with their young kids, especially the member later. Um, an opportunity to come up with new ideas, thinking outside of the box. Uh, uh, an opportunity to phone old friends, go on, people are doing Skype, they're doing more of those things. So people have time if they're at home, if they can utilize it, they can, uh, they can go forward and, and reach out to people they haven't talked to in a long time. So even though you're isolated, you actually have an opportunity to, to grow stronger as a family and to reach out to more people that you want because you're busy in life. People, keep, they just keep moving and moving. And, and for other people, if you have the opportunity, like my lovely wife decided that... Uh, she bought paint ahead of time and figures I can paint the basement when I have time. So uh, it, it depends. So that you can do some things around the house. And, and uh, it's just an opportunity to sort of maybe do a reset for society uh, when we come through this. Like I said, hopefully all the supports are there, all the business come back. We will be so excited because we take things for granted. We'll be so excited that the, the world is back and we can go out and, uh, and do all the things we want to do.